Hi, and welcome back to Lesson 3 of Rampant Design Tools' full line of Final Cut Pro X training. I'm Stephanie Mullen, and in this lesson we are going to be looking at how Final Cut can import folders as keyword collections. In the last lesson, we learned the basic functions of importing media into an event. Now I was only importing a small number of clips, but what if you had hundreds of clips to import and go through? Well, Final Cut helps with this organizational challenge with an import process called Keyword Collections. Keyword Collections are very simply a container of clips. Um, Final Cut creates these automatically when you have your clips organized into folders outside of Final Cut, say on your desktop or on your external hard drive. This is handy when you are given footage that is labeled in folders like B-roll, interviews, audio, and so on. Final Cut keeps that same organization but turns those folder labels into keywords attached to individual clips. By doing this, it allows you, the editor, to easily search through clips to find what you were looking for in less time. Now let's take a look at what I am explaining. Let me open up Final Cut. All right, here's our basic interface again. Here's the end of lesson two. Here's our footage that we imported from lesson two. As you can see, everything's in here. All the clips are in here, but nothing's organized. It's just one big mess. And if I had hundreds of these, I wouldn't, wouldn't have any idea where to start. It'd be so difficult. So this is where Final Cut's little keyword collections comes in. And I wanna show you how to do that. So we're gonna start by clicking up on our uh, hard drive. We're actually going to create, we're going to import clips without creating an event. Um, we've always started with an event first, so we're going to try this without an event. So click on your hard drive and we're going to click, right click and click import media. And this is going to bring up the import media dialog box. Now I'm going to click right here in my favorites to get my Final Cut Pro X lessons up. Here's a lesson I would like, lesson three. Double click on that. And what, what you see here are my two folders. Now I'm only going to import one folder at a time right now just to show you how this works. So here's my clips, okay? Have all these nice, neat, and organized under this folder, Sunset. So I'm gonna click on Sunset, come down here to Import Selected, select that, and here comes our, our another dialog box. Now we didn't create an event, so we have to create a new event. And I'm gonna call this New Your Aerial Footage, okay? Save it to where you want it to be saved, if it's your hard drive or an external hard drive, wherever you would like. Now, I am going to copy my files over. I like to do that. Uh, but here's the important part. Import folders is keyword collections. We're going to make sure that is selected. We're not worrying about any of these other options right here. We're going to get to those a little later. And we're going to say import. Now, if you look over here, you're going to see here's our New York aerial footage. But underneath that, there's going to be a little blue key if you see that key right there and the word sunset you will also notice in your clips there's a blue line across all of your clips that is letting you know that there is a keyword associated with every clip this comes in really nice when you have all these clips going all right so very simple very easy so let's import our last one our last folder i'm going to click on this event i'm going to right click i'm going to say import media and we don't have, we have the sunset, but we don't have the city, so I'm going to click city. And I'm going to say import selected. Again, I'm going to, my ex events already existed, so here's all my events. Click my event, copy files, import folders as keyword collections. All these are unchecked, just these two are checked. Import. And you will see we now have our city footage, and we have our sunset footage. That's really nice, really easy. These keywords will stay here until you remove them, um, but it's automatic. Very, very nice. Now you can also do that. You can also bring in both folders at one time, and I want to show that really fast. So I'm going to actually scroll this up, and we're going to actually create a new event. So let's go back up to our hard drive, import media, and I'm actually going to select both of these. So I'm going to actually shift select them both. I'm going to say import all, and I'm actually going to make a new event, and I'm going to say NYC2. Okay. Again, import folders is keyword collections, copy files, import. And there you go. You will see there's your NYC2 and it brought in both folders and has tagged all these clips with that keyword that you provided. Now I like to keep my folders very simple with a name because the keyword's going to show on here. 
But so I just put sunset, but again, you can name them whatever you like. I like them to be short and simple. The very last thing I want to show you is that you can still view all your clips together by clicking on this at the top. Now you will see every single clip is all together just like we imported the first time in our in lesson two, but everything has a line across it. This indicates to me that there is a keyword associated and I'll be able to search up here in my keyword box when I start searching for that easier and makes my life a lot simpler and faster. And that's that. I love how easy it is for Final Cut to create these automatic keywords and it helps me with my sanity when there is a deadline looming. Hope you enjoyed this lesson on keyword collections. Check out my other tutorials to learn more about what Final Cut Pro X has to offer. Hit me up on Twitter at Final Cut Steph if you have any questions or have specific tutorial requests. Off to lesson four. This is Stephanie Mullen from RampantDesignTools.com. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.